pretty standard time. Yavs are looking for the Fisher. Cancels the Sev, and that puts him pretty low. Weeha, though, taking lots of hits. Yeah, he's going to be careful with these shrapnel charges, and uh, knowing that the Fisher is down, in fact, he's going to be baited in too far. Oh. He's still going to get the kill, but it was Alina who got it first. Which means yeah. first blood and experience goes far as well as we are. Too far up. Mad starts with the wave of terror. Connects on both. He wants the leaner, however. That's the primary target they're going for. Lock him in. The Fisher's doing some nice work to slow down Pycat, but it won't save Weeha's life. Pycat has enough damage. He'll buy up some nice boots. And Alliance. Early on the rotations, ensuring the cores that get... Actually bring creeps in that have some disables, but actually it's going to be disables on Mass Carry up top. Yeah, that's just a very simple move, and there's no point TPing him. By the time he reached it, he'll have to go in so deep that he'll probably end up just feeding himself. Shallow Grave or no Shallow Grave. Level 4. Yeah. So and level 7 Chen, this patch is just so deadly. Yep. Nikwa, charge time. Nah, uh, they keep the bash on long enough. So he'll die on the offlane. Huh. Sure, he could charge himself over and around, but fighting one on one with the slaughter, ensuring you Ooh. find those higher levels, and hopefully it's not gonna be bad. Bottom. Yeah, there's your crush with the amplification. Nick was gonna go down. The support is TPing as quick as it can from Pycat with the shrapnel and assassination. It's a guaranteed kill. This is the death of slaughter. And that's not too bad. I mean, it's your offlane level 5 Spirit Breaker. It was very unfortunate RNG on those bashes coming out, but in the end, uh, it, it, PyCat's able to profit from it, and Nikwa can actually be the enigma on the map now. He's charging from his fountain, so whatever lane he chooses to, to run towards, it looks like it's going to be top. We He's going to be in a good position. I'll check out middle right now, because we have first Magic Missile Stomp, follow up with the Centaur Stomp and the Sound of Blast. And they're going to get the kill. I thought it might have been problematic for the fact that PyCat TP down at the bottom. Them. Now they're going to pop the Battle Trance up top, want this tower without the deny, and the charge is going to guarantee it. Yeah, just run straight through the cogs. Nick would now actually caught inside of those. Loda was coming in to help out, but the Chen army's already done the work, so Clockwork's down, and they're chasing after Levi, but they're not fast enough with Levi already being able to afford. They're, they're all pretty low and pretty vulnerable. Here comes your charge. Primarily so they can keep the perfect vision over on the Lena. Uh, she's not going to survive this one anyway. The assassination was starting up. In fact, it did finish down the Earthshaker as Loda was targeting him. And Alliance are moving just so well across the map at the moment. From tower to tower. BBC, it's like they're searching for the fights, but they don't have the skills yet to take these fights. Especially for how quiet bottom lane has been, I'm actually kind of surprised that Slaughter doesn't have his blink yet. That's kind of the thing they're, they're missing right now. They can take the fights with a good crush, but the Slaughter's just been PvE for right now. Finally TPing, but with no blink. Where's that charge? The Spirit Break is still sitting in the bag. He's going to run himself through Levi. Where's that Shallow Grave timing? He actually got knocked back. So there's no Shallow Grave loader. Almost being saved by RK. They couldn't pull him out in time. Either way, Nick was going to get bash after bash. They come in for the Dazzle. The Shallow Grave's protecting him while the Laguna Blade will kill off RK, but... His creeps have done the work as well as himself. Where is that charge from Nikwa? There it is. Assassination was also being prepared by PyCat. Nice last strike away from Weeha, at least stopping that charge. The PyCat is trying to keep up with him. He'll get like one shot with the face boots and he's not even going to get that. They'll have to back themselves up. Without the troll, they won't feel as much confidence under the tier 1 tower. Still a very profitable fight for them. Pretty clean and clear for them here at the 13 minute mark. Obviously Roche, not that strong then, but oh. Levi also oh. have... Uh. <laughs> that was perfect from Nikwa. He got a little bit of luck with the RNG because he got the bash off and then went in for the charge. Realized he just needed to control him so the assassination could connect. A blink to crush. Is that what controlled the Chen army and Loader? Well, there's your uh, assassination in the form of Laguna Blade. Okay, there was no way he could save his teammates. And it looks like the Chen army's not looking gonna, gonna look too healthy either. So a great jump in from BBC. Yeah, very, very key pickoff. And I think Alliance is actually pretty lucky that they put the Aegis on PyCat. You got just that high level movement speed and kill potential. For now, BBC are looking for the kill potential. A four man smoke. They're using Slaughter as bait on the top, while Alliance bring the rest of their crew in towards mid. So they might be feeling that BBC is looking for their side lane T1 towers. But at the same time, this T1 tower is down, oh. the and they're already moving up north. Nikwa charging into the lineup. He's going to hit inside of Levi. He does have another strike available. He's going to get hook shot and have that cancelled. Loader trying to help out his teammate, which is trapped inside the cogs. The hand of God can't even keep him up that long. Well, it looks like Mad also TP'd up a little bit further. Pycat. Here's the amplification over on Mad, which is giving perfect vision for BBC for what's going on. But the swap, we are! Look who to play the mech from Arke. The perfect timing for him. There will be the Yules up into the air, but the Centaur is ready and waiting for that Lena when she gets the ground. So Lena and Dazzle down. Slada able to survive through the urn charges. There's no stun to kill off the clockwork or to stop the clockwork from TPing out. 
So Alliance, they don't lose anybody. But they did gain two. Actually, I take that back. Yeah, they, they lost the Spearbreaker he bought back, and then yeah. the Aegis was popped for the Sniper. So there are, there are some losses there, but if they can follow it up with Towers, they... Under attack. Mm -hmm. And Weeha, just going for the LSA, right on Niqua, gets the combo, but the Hand of God keeps him up for a moment longer. Needs the Yules to set up the next one, and it should be the kill. As you're looking for the Slave, it. it's gonna miss. But he's got the Moon Beast first. still, and the Slave will be okay. able to connect. Clockwork's gonna hook through his corpse. At the same time, you're losing the Slaughter. And in fact, he's gonna swap in the Dazzle as well, so both Slaughter and Dazzle try to play around the mid. But Pycat just stands on the high ground with the help of Loader. RK as well as Mad. And they get the return kill. Mm -hmm. And this Spearbreaker is, is really, they, they, they just have another swap to pull him out of Clockwork Cog, so they have to worry about that. They're TPing in now. They waited till Nickwa got halfway across the map and then just started their movement. Weehan's gonna yield set for him up, so the downside about the, the Spirit Breaker with that happening. Assassination will give him all the vision required. Assassination into the tree line. Wave of Terror being the second set of vision, and Mad can't get the swap out in time, but Nikwa, he's just gonna bash himself in there with that Nether Strike. We are locked in the trees, and he'll go down. And it will be time for the Dazzle to escape. TP's out at the last moment, while Slada looks to the mid. Amplification over on Arke. No mech on cooldown for five more seconds. He did not want to commit the Hand of God at that point, or at least he couldn't anyway, because he was just permanently bashed. Mm -hmm. Unable to defend the mid. Um, important kill, but still a 10 second BKB popped. He's not going to be ready for a fight for a while, and actually Nikwas keeps going in. He's going to get a finisher. It's He's actually locked. a really bad spot for him. He's blocked. He can't get himself out of that, in that, out of that area. Not unless Pycat, well actually, no, they don't have anything. Lena's not going to be kind enough to Light Strike array him out of that. Either way, they don't, they don't uh, try and... That's all the Lions really care about. Still objective-based gaming. You don't have to stall out this game any longer than it has to be. Unfortunately for them, though, that weave might be causing them some problems. Loda going to get hookshotted in here. And Nikwa charges his way in. They do get the crush off and stunning him up. Pycat needs to keep his distance. This BKB is nice, but it's not the easiest protection. Assassination. Okay, he's not even going to start it. Just looking to shoot down Levi. The Shallow Grave was what was able to keep that uh, Slardar alive. But then... Jump oh! in, Echo Slam. He got bashed back almost instantly, however. That was not really the plan. He got charged, in fact, I think it was by Nikwa, and just got his body tossed backwards. But Alliance will take out the mid racks. They can rotate to the bottom if they want to. I don't think there's really that much to stop them because they still have the Agassi model and Sniper. The only thing is going to be respect. This to look at the other heroes you're going up against. Maybe if there's someone you can fall into nuking you, that's one way you can approach. But right now, RK. He doesn't have Hand of God, but he did add that mech to go to work with the Whirling Axis. On range only, the charge is coming the way of Clockwork. And he thought he was safe. He had an Invis rune, but this isn't keeping him safe. In fact, they want this charge to last a little bit longer. Wait, can they, can they do something about this? Okay, Shrapnels. In comes your charge. They bounce it back, and there's the dust. So they get the kill over on the Clockwork. And this now goes 25 to 11 in favor of... Not 100% certain who they're searching for. Is uh, There will be the crush coming in from Slada. Catching out Loader again with that hand of my, that hand of God having, having to be used to protect him. The SP, they're going to bash back. He could only go on the Earthshaker, but the Earthshaker is enough. The attempted heal wasn't close enough for the Grave. But the heal is not enough to keep that Earthshaker alive while Lena to the trees. Can you actually get him from there? We'll He's going to need the Shadow Blade again. Going to go in the Invis, there. but you can just dust him. Nikwa knew it. And now RK also moving down. Moves away from his own creeps. The assassination, the charge. It's everything you kind of want up against Weeha. But they never even fired the assassination, saved the manor instead. So, so uh, as long as he doesn't stay near too many creeps for the Echo Slam, he's going to be fine. Yeah. The Lions want to end this now. Looks like uh, they might have also found another opening. It was Dazzle in the mid, and the BKB from the Spirit Breaker. He's controlling up the clockwork. In fact, he's also dragged up the Earthshaker while the bottom rank's been taken by Alliance. They can't go for the straight GG call at the moment. Tier 4 is taking damage. Uh, yeah, Attila has to make the move with this double damage, and it's going to be them to get the jump. As long as they BKB before oh, these abilities crushed. come through. Well, it just turns the BKB on. Slaughter has to back himself up, but you've got your charge coming into Weeha. Sniper just Daedalus crits down the Lena. And I think this game is over, man. Like, they're, they're losing Roshan. They've just lost the Earthshaker. Lena might have bought back. The tier 4 towers, one of them's down to 224 HP. Roshan In fact, lower than 200 now. They can, they, they can if they want to and get Megas. I don't think much is really going to stop that. But primarily they should be looking at kills and Weeha! Oh man! That's what happens when you get such a heavy crit item over on a sniper this early on. 
He wasn't even with a big big amount of damage. And there it is. GG well played. Uh, rightly so. This game was kind of over 10 minutes ago. Yeah, just been working that way there. But, I mean, you got to be impressed with Alliance's movement in the early game there. The Chen and the Bench did the work of, like, three heroes there. They were able to really control the top and the mid lane the way they needed to. And, obviously, PyCat just got cold. He was top of the net worth for a long time there and was able to just stay back the entire time. If BBC were able to just get some...